Hi, Gary here. You know, back in the early 80s, I made a decision to buy a house and I went to a friend who helped me understand how to do a mortgage and all the other things in buying a house. Pretty complicated when you first do this. And luckily, we sold three years later and made a little bit of money. Been 2007, we've been horrible. Well, you know, tomorrow starts financial, National Financial Literacy Month. And that's the month of April. It was established in 2004 by Congress and a resolution to be that month. Now, I like to say it's more of an awareness month or a wellness month, something that you know, we can continue to grow and understand and, uh, and really make better decisions about our money as we go along. I want to give you a couple of statistics taken from the Financial Awareness Foundation. Number one, most of the individuals reaching age 70 today are basically running out of money very soon. But, you know, they're going to live to age 80 and 90, a lot of them, so it's going to be difficult for friends and family to help support them, non for profits, and ultimately the government safety net. Next, there's a report that came out by the um, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau recently, and it was about uh, the link between financial education and financial well being, and that most of us seek out those within our social network to help us with financial money decisions, like I did. And so what are we seeking? We're seeking non-experts. It's kind of uh, disjoint in the way we do that. And uh, you know, it's, it's at a time where critical decisions are being made that can be really poorly made and really destroy or really slow down our ability to build up and be successful with our wealth down the line. Uh, so it's a real issue. We know it's out there. Next, 120 million people in the United States do not have an estate plan. You know, that's a will or a trust. Why is that important? Well, you know, number one, uh, you have assets and who are they going to, when, where, how. Uh, if you have children, there's guardianship issues. Um, if, you have, if you become disabled, the trust and so forth will handle how to pay the bills, do all this other stuff. And of course, at death, a variety of things need to happen as far as uh, transferring those assets and everything else out there. It's just a lot of different issues out there. So it doesn't matter if you have a lot of wealth, it's still important to have some kind of a basic estate plan. I would suggest you make a commitment in April to just handle one money issue you're currently dealing with. Go through, look at what that is, the most important one. Might be student debt as an example. It's 1.4 trillion dollars of student debt and of course growing out of the 14 trillion of total consumer debt out there. Maybe handle that one situation in April next month and go to uh, a resource that can help you deal with it. Now there are credit counselors and there are advisors that work for non-for-profits where you can seek that out because again, uh, most likely don't have a lot of money to be able to spend, to be able to handle these money issues. So financial well-being and financial literacy is just step by step getting just a little better every day at learning about how to handle money. So until next time, enjoy.